Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays GTA Manhunt. And once again I'm trying to uh, trying to get myself to all the uh, the checkpoints around the map. The hunters are trying to stop me. And um, we're doing it in a slightly different mode this time. So as you may have noticed there's a few extra sort of little bits of details like the um, the map I've got on the bottom left. That isn't um, we've we've managed to get the game configured so that it doesn't um, doesn't show the other players on it, but it does show the checkpoint and 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 works as sort of as a as a compass. So that's probably going to help, especially people who aren't quite as familiar with the map as the rest of us. Um, it's going to help with finding their way around the city and stopping them getting quite so lost. I've also got um, a, a speedometer and so on cluster down there in the bottom right, which is um, mildly useful. I mean, it might I can tell from that that apparently typical traf speed for the traffic in the city is about 20 miles an hour which seems fairly reasonable <laughs> for a city. <laughs> there's purple, there's one of the hunters. I think it's I think it's a purple one. I mean, the lights were purple. Um, so he's going to be guarding the, uh, the checkpoint, which, as you can see from the map, is sort of just round the corner and up the hill. <clears throat> so that's not very far away, which is why I'm sitting here trying to look like a good little AI, unlike that actual AI in front of me, which just cut up across the traffic. <laughs> I've also got a position indicator at the bottom middle of the screen, so that's effectively the same as the one in race mode. It tells you how um, it tells me how many of the hunters are closer to the checkpoint than me, or rather, not actually closer to the checkpoint, but closer to a point that's vaguely close to the checkpoint. If that makes any sense. So they're going to be keeping an eye out for me up here. That's a green light, so I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to stop here in the middle of the checkpoint, and then pull over this way. Hopefully, I've done that without them seeing me. And I think I have. Now, if I remember correctly, at one point we were talking about having a bit of a delay on the hunters being alerted after after the prey takes a checkpoint. So they might not have been. They might only just have been told about it. I'm honestly not quite sure exactly how the how the game mode is set up, which is probably quite a bad thing, <laughs> given that I'm trying to use the uh, the game rules to my advantage and and not get caught. So this is, um, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's nice to pl nice to play in a slightly different mode. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's now night time, so we have um, we have actual time passing in the game now. So it's not all, it's not sort of locked perpetually at one time of day. So with any luck, I'll manage to survive until um, until daytime. But I guess we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> now I want to change car because this one is a. It's not a. I think it's probably allowed. But it was a it was a sports classic as opposed to so it's not a sport or a super which are the ones that are definitely banned. But it was a sports classic. Oop, that's that's a coupe. Let's take the coupe. Bit of uh, musical cars going on here. <laughs> so <clears throat> the rules with the um, with the with the cars are that the hunters will all be driving coupes and they're all the brightly coloured ones to make them stick out. And as the prey, I'm only allowed to drive. Basically, I'm only allowed to drive cars that are as uh, that are as bad, as good as theirs, or worse. So I'm not allowed to drive cars that are from a class that's better. So that generally means sticking with coupes, muscle cars. I can use compacts if I want. I can use SUVs. They're all a bit terrible though, so I generally prefer not to. Um, but the idea is that if we are all in similar spec cars, then it makes the chases reasonably fair. <clears throat> and if we're all in cars that aren't too quick then it makes the chases a bit more interesting as well and that's what we're here for that's why we're why we're trying why we're doing it we want to be interesting <laughs> so now i'm going to think about t approaching the next checkpoint have i even gone i think i need to get up to fourth place first and i've not been watching my position indicator carefully enough so i don't actually know whether i've done that so i'm just going to head away from the checkpoint first and try and get my uh, position That was a very dark car that went past there. It didn't turn around and start chasing me though, so I'm suspecting it's not a hunter. Oh, there we go, there's fourth. Okay, let's head back again now. So maybe that was a hunter that I wish went past. Yeah, so they are going back again. <laughs> I'm going to turn right here and try and get away, because I think if he was paying any attention, he was paying attention. Damn it. I think, yes, I think I've given myself away now because I slowed down. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't stop at that corner, at that, jun at that junction where I turned. Um, 
and yeah, I didn't slow down for the I didn't slow down for the junction uh, when I think even oh, if you're doing the infamous turning right on a red thing, you do, you are supposed to actually stop, and so the AI cars probably do. Um, so yes, you are supposed to, you are supposed to at least stop. But I didn't want to stop in case he was already in case he already knew it was me, and that made it too easy for him to catch up. But then by not stopping, that's not a road. Where am where, where am I going? Whatever I'm do, doing or not doing, it seems to have worked. Let's turn the headlights off. See if that helps at all. Oop, the fact that I'm in a white car means that might not help very much. No, he's still there behind me. Let's try again. <laughs> oh dear, I. Yeah, I thought that um, just driving wet due west away from the checkpoint was going to be a relatively safe thing to do. Because I wasn't expecting there to be any hunters over there. But it turns out one of them, and I'm pretty sure it's Pete, judging by the green car, um, was patrolling that sort of... was out that way looking... well, looking for me, obviously. Because that's what he's doing. That's what the whole point of this. Um, I think I'm away. Oop, crunch. No, I'm not. Ah, <laughs> oh, too much optimism there. I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed he managed to follow me through those alleyways, actually. Oh no, those are all. Those are not places I can go. This, this oh, that's okay. That's a destructive tree. That's all right then. <laughs> um, where shall I go? What's the best way to lose him? I, I don't really know. At least there's, there's only. Yep, he's still there. I, I saw a, a shadow when I glanced backwards. Then. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was harder than I expected it to be. Let's try a loop round like that, and let's let's take the jump just for fun. I mean, it doesn't make me, it doesn't keep me hidden particularly well, because there is only one way to go from there. But you know, jumps are always fun. I think he's still behind me, but I think I've got quite a lot of distance on him. So maybe if I do a a couple of turns like this and head nip into an alleyway, let's see if he's following me still. Has that done it? I think it might have done. Of course, he knows I'm in this sort of general area, so hiding in an alleyway, probably not the best of ideas. But on the flip side, popping out of an alleyway, also perhaps not the best of ideas. I think my, my car's probably a bit too damaged for um, trying to blend in again like this. But I need to find, yeah, obviously I need to find a replacement. And these are all a bit too, oh, actually that back one would have done. Hello. But, um, yeah, I need, oh, no, that's, that's another car that's too good. <laughs> I need to find a car that isn't a sports or a super, but also isn't absolutely terrible. Because I need to have a bit of a chance. That was quite a good chase, though. He kept up well, I have to, I have to admit, I'm um, quite impressed. All right, let's take, let's take a compact, because I'm... Desperate is too strong a word, but I definitely want to be driving something different. Okay, now, where am I? Okay, so I'm up near the movie studios. Right. I'm in fourth place. So I think it's time to start thinking about going in and trying to take that checkpoint. I'm driving a dilettante, which is not the best of cars, but it's subtle, I suppose? It's got that going for it, but that is about the only thing it has going for it. It's um, the performance is going to be extremely bad. <clears throat> so if I get into a chase, I'll probably be in trouble. Now, what I'm planning to do is head along here and try and get into the under part of the over/under uh, because I haven't done that yet. Normally, when I've tried to take this up, I've come in from the south or from the north on the upper bit by going over the um, um, what do you call it over the uh, overpass part. So my hope is if I come in this way and then turn right, is that a better car? No, it's about the same, I think. I'm hoping that that'll make me less obvious. And also if I try and drive, I'm going to try and drive a little bit slower along here. Because it was, it was clearly the hooning along here earlier that gave me away. And yes, I tried to turn around and hide, or hide in plain sight by trying, you know, trying to look like an AI. <laughs> but I don't think that, well, it clearly didn't work because I, um, I got caught. Now, one of them is further away than me, so I now need to start trying to keep an eye out all around. Um, and possibly starting to behave a little bit more sensibly. I'm also going to just run this red light because I'm bored of waiting. And also, sitting still 
it's not the best survival strategy in my experience. <laughs> it's a it's a difficult balance. You need to um, you need to both not move in and un when you shouldn't, but also but also if you sit still, then it makes you uh, stick out quite not quite badly. So what I'm going to try and do is turn right here at this at this light, punch through the checkpoint here and then in theory I can just keep going in a straight line towards the ghetto it's a red light of course which is typical oh I've taken the checkpoint that's a concern I'm going to turn right and hope to sneak away because I think as I say I think there's a delay on them being told when I take a checkpoint And there's nobody following me. Good. So that seems to have worked. Phew. Okay. <clears throat> that went quite well. I'm um, I'm pleased with that. That I feel like I took that nice and smoothly. Now the next checkpoint is down in the ghetto. So I don't want to head down there just yet. Um, because I need to get up to fourth place before I can go in and take it. So yeah, I definitely need to hang about up here for a little while. And I do want to see if I can find a better car. Um... I mean, almost anything is going to be better than this. As you can, I haven't put my foot down yet, so this this way, the way I'm creeping around at the moment, isn't all the car is capable of. It is capable of a bit more than that. Ooh, this looks promising. Is that that? I think is a coupe class. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb in the ghetto, because oh, okay, it's not what I thought it was. I thought this was um, oh uh, no, it looks different at the front. I thought this was a oh, which one is it? The sort of the Aston Martinish looking one. Not the year, not the exemplar, or maybe it's the exemplar that looks like this from the back. I'm not sure. But there is, there is definitely one of the cars in this game that looks a lot like this from behind, and is a coupe. What are you? Sia. I have a feeling this is okay. It's a sedan. That might be a step up from a um, uh, from a compact. Or it might not be. I don't know. We'll give it a try. I've not driven one of these before because I don't think they, I don't think they spawn in uh, in multiplayer races, so it's it's not one I've been able to try out. Ooh, that no, that's a coquette. That's definitely a sub sport. <clears throat> okay, so coming into the ghetto here. Uh, no, there isn't a particularly good way in. What's the best way to do this? I think if I turn yeah, if I turn right here and then take the next left. Or if I just... Actually, let's just go cross-country here, I think. This will make me really, really obvious if they see me. But they shouldn't be here. I mean, there's no rule... That's damaged the car. Great. I expect, yes. There's no rule against them being here. They can drive around here if they want to. But they won't expect me to be here, so I think it's probably a, a suitable way for me to try and sneak across without being seen. Now, if I get onto this highway, I might be able to swap my car for something a bit better. Or possibly something almost exactly the same. Alright, never mind. Let's go up here. And this is a sort of a cross-country way to get up, to get back over and into the ghetto. So I punch through this fence. Like that. There we go. Okay, so the... <laughs> now, my car is in a slightly poor condition, but I'm hoping that won't be too obvious. And the checkpoint is just around there. Well, there's the checkpoint. The enormous red glow is a bit of a giveaway. So let's... It's only just running the red light. Oh, no, I've been spotted. Maybe you saw, maybe you saw me run the red light. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to need to try and run away. But I'm in this Asia, which isn't a particularly good car, I don't think. So this is going to be... Tricky. <clears throat> we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I'm obviously not going to have any chance in this great line or if I drive into a tree or a fence um, <laughs> yeah if I if I corner that badly then I'm, I'm probably doomed but let's see if I can get back into the ghetto maybe there's some sort of convenient corner he's hanging back a long way he must be having he's either waiting for friends to give him a hand or he's um, I don't know trying to try to give me a chance or he's just trying to trying to make sure I don't do the end or break maneuver on him which he's which I can't now because he's Literally right behind me. Oh, let's 
try going around here. That was a lot of signs. It's going to bled off a lot of my speed. This is going to be a difficult chase because I'm not in a good enough car for this. Um, oh, that's a street light. Oh, that's a pit manoeuvre. That's <laughs> that's the um, I think that's the uh, camper van I spawned in in. <laughs> um, right. Well, as you can tell by the amount of purple that well there was on the back of my car, um, he's still there. <coughs> this is is going to be a difficult one. Um, I'm not sure what my best option at this point is. I think. I can't, obviously I can't beat them in a straight line. It may be to try and corner or dodge around cars and things like that. I'm not sure. Oh, or hope that Pete goes a bit wide like that. Oh no, I've gone more than wide. I've got spun around there. Um, okay, there's one place I can go. It's a bit of a sort of a Hail Mary type. Thing. Uh, but apparently it's not. Ooh, blimey, that was a, <laughs> a blow and a half. Right. Okay, if I can get up here into the train yard, then. Ooh, actually, he's dropped back a bit. No, that's not going to be any, any use. As soon as I go around the corner, he's going to catch up with me anyway because I'll lose so much speed going around the corner. But if I go into the rail yard here, it's at least here it's sort of weird and complicated. And whilst I'm probably going to get rammed almost immediately. There's a few sort of... or I could jump out of the car. Get out the other side. Oh, God, nah. You got out the wrong side of the car. If you got out the other side, I could have run away. Well, Mirror Park is next to the hills, isn't it? Mirror Park is where we do all of the other thingy things. Yeah, you're next to me. That's that's what? not him. Oh, it's not him. That car has two people in it. Oh, well, maybe he. Oh yeah. It you might guys be nice for a second. Yeah. It might be nice to kidnap someone, throw people off that. I'm forced just by the checkpoint. Oh, he's taken it. You know in what? No, I I didn't see him. You can only see it's taking it because it disappears. Yeah. Oh. Heading back towards checkpoint now. What is he wearing? Gallery still for. Yeah. Um, when he respawns, we won't know. Oh yeah. Why. Oh, yeah. I found the camper van. A white car is speeding past me. I don't think it's going to be him, though. I couldn't turn around in time to catch up to it. I don't think it's him, though. How weird. You first, Buck. Yes, I am. He's gone far from the checkpoint now. Yeah. Right, he fled. Oh, just he fled the team. Yeah, I've got him. What? Uh, down by Chinese Monument. Uh, in a white um, saloon. Uh, heading down towards Vespucci Docks. Uh, we're going west, past Colourful Car Park. Uh, past Bottom Movie Studios. Heading uh, north. He has crashed. Annoyingly so have I. Uh, right, we're heading back down um, north now, past Movie Studios. Taking a left, um, up towards Vinewood. Uh, to right on the main boulevard, heading towards Life Invader. Uh, passing Life Invader now, heading northeast. Oh, yes, Continuing see. down, still heading kind of north, taking a left into Rockford Hills. Passing the golf course, still heading north. Uh, that was a right. Uh, AI got me. 
And the right again. No, that's a dead end. Okay. Is he in the hills? No. Uh, yes, he's driving. He's gone through a side road, so we're back into the main road now. No. Uh, he's down, passing the Kiflon building, uh, heading east. East uh, on lag spike. Uh, East on Spanish Avenue. Uh, just taking a right, so heading south now, down towards shopping centre. And we're going down east past shopping centre. Oh, I see Buck. Uh, AI hit me again. Or oh, actually, I hit them, they're in front of me. I may have lost them. and all the vehicles going through now. Yeah, it's trying not to camp too much as well. Yeah. This car was actually dodgy. What are you doing? Oh, he's gone through. He's taken it. He's gone. I'm first now, so he's, he's about the distance of Solomon. So Do you mean Simeon? Simeon, that's the one. Is that him? Okay, that, yes, I found him. Just lost the check for him. That right, time there. it was his bright yellow shirt that gave him away. Whereabouts? Heading north, away from the checkpoint. Away, okay. Uh, heading towards Simeon. Uh, I don't really know where that is. Just north of Ghetto. <laughs> heading, oh, heading south from Simeon's back into the Ghetto. What's he driving? Uh, a dark coloured compact. I think. It's a... yeah. That's I'm not sure what colour it is. It's bright purple because my lights are shining on the back of it. Yeah, um, but there's I lots of lights off. issues if we're we keep them... Yeah, I turn mine on. Lights. Oh, that's past the fire. Oh, I saw a green thing. Uh, we're looping around in the ghetto. Um, what else to say? Uh, by ring of fire. Yep, got it. Heading north out of ghetto. But I am behind you if you want to get a bit more aggressive. Square squares, southwest corner, heading west. Half a minute back. Who? Uh, heading Sorry. north through higher, lower, lower. Heading east towards back towards square squares, northwest corner. Heading east still. Heading south down the east side of square squares. Heading. Oh, uh, still south down. Uh, heading east from the southeast corner of Square Squares, and then right immediately down an alleyway. Not an alleyway, uh, a natural road. Uh, heading. Oh, spun it. That be your knife, brother. No. Oh, okay. He suddenly changed direction. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Heading uh, towards the scrapyard. Uh, so north. Little Big Horn Avenue. Going into the scrapyard. Oh dear. Uh, he's going to go down to the uh, thing, isn't he? Storm drone. Possibly. It's the only uh, way out. Uh, With a pistol as well. Yeah. 